Hey everyone, so welcome back to another video. Since mobile builds kinda stopped or they are getting only uh, bug fixes, there is nothing new to show on the mobile builds. So I'm gonna show you the desktop builds, which the desktop builds have actually pretty good news. And I'm gonna show you a very good feature that nobody showed you until now. Uh, I didn't discover that feature by myself, I discovered uh, in a German website, German channel, YouTube channel as well. But the big dogs, big uh, like big websites like uh, Windows Central or even MS Power User, they never show this feature because MS Power User, we all kind of know that they copy whatever Windows Central posts. MS Power User, they copy from them and vice versa. So let's start with um, with my people. This new edition, my people, it has already been shown. Uh, but at the moment it's still dark, it doesn't have any transparency and, the, and in the apps you can see only people, Skype and Mail it should, of course, it should uh, bring more applications here and if you go in more contacts, and sh it will show you all your contacts that you have in your smartphone here with Groove Music, uh, here is the transparency but in the white version, you, you can't really see it so well so when changing to dark mode, let's ch change to dark mode, you have to restart the application Groove music. When you change to dark mode, then the, in the dark mode you can see it a little better, but still it's so hard to see. Uh, but of course this uh, groove music will keep changing with time. Uh, but so far the transparency is not so 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 good. And one addition on this build, uh, which is with the number uh, 16188, uh, they added Cortana button or Cortana options here in the settings, uh, specifically to Cortana. So now you can come here and uh, let Cortana respond to hey Cortana, yeah I want that option on so you can enable or disable whatever settings you want with Cortana here we have as well permission and history notifications from Cortana and more details and now let's show you the biggest, uh, Not it's not a feature from this build but it's a feature from this redstone tree which is what Microsoft keeps, say keeps saying until now that uh, Windows 10 will be possible to install in every everywhere in phones uh, in tablets uh, so I'm using right now a virtual machine let's go to to change the size um, so as you can see if I change the size the size is here at the bottom also ch changes you see also same changes uh, so this is very good for smartphones for example let's change to a tablet mode because in a smartphone or a tablet, you're gonna use a tablet mode. So let's put like this, like this can be a smartphone. Look, can be a smartphone, you see, but it's the size of a smartphone. So I'm gonna try to show you here on the phone. Like I said, I didn't discover this feature. Uh, Windows Area discovered this feature uh, and I'm showing you this feature because it seems that many people doesn't know about it. I didn't know about it myself neither. So let's go for example, if you open notification center in the phone, this could be very easily implemented with like swipe right and it brings the notification center. Very nice. Then you can have as well the settings, all the apps for example, didn't resize correctly. Here you have the back, back button, a Cortana and if we go to settings, let's go to settings, we can even minimize this a little even more to be like a smartphone, like this for example. It can even more like what's the minimum? This is the minimum. It minimizes the minimum possible. Let's go for like a smartphone. If you take a look, it's just like how we are used on the phone. It's just like on the phone. Look, system. For example, if we go on system, system as well. It's exactly almost the same. Display, display. And if you go in about, about. <laughs> this is how we are used to on uh, to see on uh, on our phones. This is. <laughs> It's almost exact, exactly the same. And if you go back, let's go back. And you have all the settings exactly like we have on the phones. So I think with the announcement of Windows 10 S, I think this can be coming to the next Surface phone if that will come, or it can come to future smartphones because Windows 10 Mobile at this point, it doesn't have any feature, but this Windows 10 S, it might have feature because um, the the Windows it's locked only for apps from the store. So on phones we also use apps from only from the store. You can see it's just like on phone. 
it's exactly like on phone and like I said this this notification center it could be easily slide from right on the phones and bring this notification center and slide from right to bring this uh, settings all apps of course this is not made correctly yet because if I uh, resize it again then it shows all the apps correctly but uh, yeah if I minimize it if I resize it then it doesn't show at the moment the apps correctly uh, but as you can see if you go into settings then all the settings they minimize as as, as it should let's try um, Microsoft Edge yeah Microsoft Edge here and Microsoft Edge as you see as well it resized for this model so if you search if you go YouTube for example youtube.com uh, it, it also resized yeah it, it's also resized yeah only these ads didn't resize correctly but the videos reside correctly let's uh, go for this video for example and let's mute him yeah the, oh the video also resized as you see the video also resized yeah, the video also resized so yeah we can see that th this resizing uh, it works very good let's try for example I saw this win in this uh, Windows area guys they tried Xbox application and Xbox apps they also resize let's try even groove music until that Xbox app op opens groove music and let's resize it yeah so you see <laughs> the groove music is just like on the phone on the phone is just exactly like this you go in settings it's exactly exactly like this on the phone so I can s easily see this coming to smartphones so you tried Xbox app it opened already it did resize but it didn't resize correctly of course this is just a matter of making it resizing even better because in this redstone 3 Microsoft say that they are working um, on the new kernel so this new kernel it, so far it works very well because it resizes everything well for smaller uh, screens because this is like a smaller screen I don't really know how I can see my um, how I can see the apps I opened on this tablet mode maybe this one oh yeah so this this one it, it opens all the apps that you have in the opened so this one shows all the apps opened uh, so you can close them here just like on on the phone more or less and I really wish they could bring this uh, for mobile. Let's try to resize it. Yeah, the, you see, it doesn't, doesn't resize always correctly, but it's a good direction. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and let me know what you think about this and if you think this will come to the real life or no. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.